I'm making this video. Um, this video is about how many white folks. <laughs> this video is about how how many white folks act when they when when they don't have any money, man. Okay, a lot of people, you know, they talk. About, they criticize the way black people act when they're poor and stuff, right? <laughs> you know, um, black people who are who are poor or whatever, you know what I'm saying, are criticized for acting ghetto and stuff, right? And, and having bad behavior, being 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 classified as animals, this and that, whatever. But what people don't want to talk about is how many white folks act when they are poor and when they don't have any money and stuff, man. I'm here to tell you right now. I'm here to tell you right now, man. There is there is not a more hateful, angry soul than a white person who doesn't have any money, man. You know what I'm saying? They seem to be angry at everybody, man. Because and the reason why? Because they feel like they're entitled, man. They feel like they're many white folks what I've seen feel like their whiteness entitles them to the to the best to the best and fine things in life, man. And when a white person doesn't have any money and stuff like that, oh man. When we talk about somebody with, with no self-esteem, oh, white people have no self-esteem when they ain't got no money, man. They can't hold their head up high, man. You know what I'm saying? And they become rude and belligerent and everything else, whatever, around um, um, people of color, particularly black folks who they may feel are doing better than what they're doing, okay? Yesterday, man, I was out with the wife, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, we like went to his, went to the grocery store to like pick up some like the uh, pick up some food and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was these, it was this 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 white lady, this, this fat white woman, and her daughter, right? Who was coming in, right? And here we was getting out of our car, right? You know what I'm saying? And we're going to the store, you know, and we like looking clean cut and everything. These two, they ruling. You know, what I'm saying? they saw what's coming, right? And people already know that pedestrians always have the right of way. They really park into the parking spot, cut in front of us, man, with their cars, right? I mean, with their car. All right? And I was like, what? what the? You know what I'm saying? I was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't understand you. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, but I, I know it was kind of rude, though. You know what I'm saying? And so, let's so like go in the store, right? And um, they see us, and they keep staring at us, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this fat white woman with her daughter. And both of like them left in the country. I don't know, man. Just look, look, look kind of dusty. You know what I'm saying? Dusty looking, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Hillbilly. Hillbilly. You know what I'm saying? And they just keep looking at us, man. I mean, they, they keep looking at us, man. Especially the um, little blonde-headed white girl. I guess, I, I guess the woman's daughter or whatever. They just kept looking at us over and over again. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you can see the jealousy in their face. I mean, I mean, it's like, you know, the jealousy at seeing, you know, a, a clean-cut... You know, attractive, decently attractive black couple. You know what I'm saying? That's not ghetto and stuff. And you can see the the anger up in their face, man. Especially that little white girl. She's kept staring at us, man. Yeah, she was so freaking annoying. If I had known that they were the people that did that to us, believe me, I would have looked back at them. Cause I didn't even know at the time that it was those people who cut us off like that when we were walking. Yeah, it's like. Man, they oh, they're so lucky. Cause oh my gosh, they're so they just lucky that I didn't know that was them. And thing about this, man, you can like you can see the jealousy in their face, man. The, people do not. I don't care what nobody says, man. People do not like seeing clean cut looking black people, especially and black men, women, especially the ones that are together as a couple. Oh man, it, it, they hate it, man. Oh, they just they hate it. They hate the fact that. Two black people would, would choose each other, man, for for companionship. You know what I'm saying? It, people get jealous of seeing that, man. If there's any black people who have, who have, who have anything going for themselves, they feel like they should be. They feel like they should have that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about non-blacks. They feel like they should have that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the way white people act when they don't when they don't have anything, it's like you thought. I mean, tell you, man. In spite of all the things that blacks go through. You know what I'm saying? Blacks still hold their head up high, man. For the most part. And they just totally beat down. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but with, with white folks, man, oh my. They lose all, many of them not seen lose all self-respect, man. They, they lose all self-esteem, you know what I'm saying? They just lose it all. 
They lose it all, man. If they can't live up to this idea of what a white person should be and have in this society. And I think about, I mean, it's, they look, I mean, man, that I see, they look dusty, dirty. You ain't got care something like that just because you poor? You ain't got to sit back and, and, and look poor just because you poor? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just, it just seems to just lose all self-respect, man. I mean, I remember the time it was a cat, cat that I went to school with, man, this, this, this older white man, you know what I'm saying? Man, the dude's fingernails look like, you know, like, <laughs> I do have talents. Of, I do have talents for fingernails, man. His fingernails, man, was so long. You know what I'm saying? The cat just let himself go talking about food stamps in class and stuff. And the cat trying to come bond with me, man. Call me brother. And I ain't your brother, man. I ain't your brother because I'm a black man. I'm probably, well, tell me something. My friend. I mean, I ain't your friend, dude. You know what I'm saying? But me, I'm going to sit back and treat anybody funny. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, who am I? I who am I to fuck? I'm better than anyone else. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, you know, I was cool with the cat in class and everything and stuff. Catch up off me peanuts and everything, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, man, and it was, it was the same very for and it was the same poor white man who, you know, taught me the lesson not to ever invite a white person over your house, man. I'm telling you. Um <laughs> Because in the back of their mind, you know, they always want to find some reason to feel like they're better than black people. You know what I'm saying? We saw me in school and everything, and clean cut with, with, with clean clothes and everything. I guess he must thought I was a better dude with money, right? But I was, at the time, I was a starving student at the time, man. You know what I'm saying? And my apartment wasn't that great. I talk about, I talk about all stuff in my book, man. You know what I'm saying? My apartment wasn't that great, man. Okay? And we had a project that we had to do. You know what I mean? It was in this um, business class, business course that I took. Right. So, you know, I invite this cat over, man, so we can, like, work on the project together and everything, right? And, and, and you know what I'm saying? And he his daughter over there and everything, and she's looking at me, because I was, at the time, I was, I was, at the time, I was lifting weights at the time, so I was pretty swole up, swole up at the time, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let that right now. I've, I've lost all my weight since that time, but anyway. Um, she's looking at me with, with lustful eyes and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, um, my apartment, like I said, wasn't that great, man, all right? Um, it was, it was kind of old, it was kind of old when we, like, when we got the apartment, it was kind of old when we got it, you know what I'm saying? But we wanted to, like, move out so bad that we just took the apartment to, just to have it, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of, like, be, you know, just to move out, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, so he comes in and listens to my apartment in absolute disgust, man, you know what I'm saying? And then, I mean, just, I mean, just, I mean, just totally disrespect. I had never seen amateur, like, out of all the people that invited over my apartment at that time, I had never seen any minority treat me treat my apartment like that. Like he did. Like, like this white man. Like, like this poor white man did. You know what I'm saying? And he was just acting all disgusted, all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And here I am helping this cat who couldn't even do any of the project, even any of the class project at all. I did, I did, I did, I did almost all of the project, came up with the idea and everything, man. And this cat has the nerve to look to try to look down his nose at me after the class is over. This poor white man, okay, try to get me disgusted, looks not try to get me disgusted, hateful looks, man. But I just act like I, I just act like he wasn't even there, man. And then after a while, he, when we saw that paying no attention, he stopped doing that stuff, man. But it was amazing to me how he flipped on me like that. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, man. They always in the back of their mind. White people who do not have any money and stuff, they're always looking for a reason. They feel, they feel, they, they, feel they should always be better than black people. And when, they, and when they see some black people who they feel might be above them, they act out, man. And, and they become very ugly, man. I know that, man, from whites and many non-blacks who, who uh, think they're better than blacks. And they hate seeing a black person who may, who they, who may be above them. You know what I'm saying? And they will... And they will attack you in subtle ways, man, and 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 and, and, and sometimes even overt, even overt ways. You know what I'm saying? They will attack you, man. They will attack you. Simply for the fact that if they, you may be better than them. You know what I'm saying? And but the way he carried himself, and, and the many, and the way many white folks carry themselves when they're poor and stuff, man. It's a, it's a scratch, man. It's like watching Trading Places, man, with them Eddie Murphy and if a Dan Aykroyd, man. I mean, it's crazy. You know, they lose all self-respect, man. Most most white folks, man, get all their self-respect, man, for money. 
they def money money defines most white money defines most white people, man. Money they're defined by their money. And without it, they feel like they're nothing, man. Anyway, that's all I gotta say about that.